Hi, this is Steve from Roofer 911. I'm on a roof in Vienna, Virginia, and the homeowner has a leak right in this area here. Now, the first thing I noticed when I lifted up the shingles along the wall, the contractor fastened the shingles through the step lashing, so that's one source of the problem, but there's many others. So in order for me to correct this problem, I need to take up all the roofing material along the wall. Any flashing that's damaged is going to be repaired or replaced with new, and then we're going to re-shingle this area. Now also over here, they have nails in the step flashing here. There should be no nails exposed in the flashing. In fact, when you're nailing down the flashing, this flashing here should be nailed underneath this piece. So this piece of flashing would be overlapping the nail and there would be no nails exposed. Now uh, another thing is this valley. When they install the valley, they nail too close to the valley center line, and that will cause a leak too. The water can travel underneath the shingles, then the water will settle at the lowest point. Now the plumber who installed this pipe, he picked the worst place to put it. You don't put a, um, a penetration through the roof next to a valley, and here you can see they got nails right here going right through the center of the valley. So we need to take up the shingles around the stack pipe. We're going to put ice and water shield around it, and then we're going to put it on top of the flashing and then re-shingle it. Now also, they're going to develop a leak directly below. And the reason why is because there's fractures right here. So we're going to seal around the flange with polyurethane, and then we're going to seal the vertical seam as well. Because if we don't seal this with a driving rain, the water can seep through here and then bypass the flange and then leak directly below. Um, now also, there's a pipe flange here that can also attribute to the leak all the way down below. And here I'll show you why. See the collar is all pulling away. So not only will the water leak down below, but it will also leak directly um, below here as well. Now the shingles, they were cemented underneath. So I don't know where they placed their nails. So as a precautionary measure, I'm gonna remove all the roof material completely around the pipe flange, seal the flange and the plywood with ice and water shield, and then we'll re-shingle it. And then we're gonna seal the rubber collar with polyurethane. Um, Oh, here's another thing. The plywood here is soft. You can see it's taken a little bit of a dip. So what happens is when it rains, the water flows um, on top of the shingles. It's go up, and then it goes under, and it goes behind the fascia on top of the soffit, and will settle at the wall. And here you can see what I mean. But take a look what else they did. <coughs> the starter course underneath is in direct alignment with the key here. So the water is getting inside here and then it's going behind the fascia. So yeah, in order for me to stop this leak, I have to target everything because if I don't, this leak is going to continue and then they're going to end up developing mold. Again, my name is Steve from Roofer 911. We specialize in roof repair in Vienna and all areas in Northern Virginia. I can be reached at 703 475 2446.